I have a Lightroom tip for you. Here's the tip that I have. This is an interesting thing, I think. So you're shooting raw, and you know that you have this button called auto that makes an auto exposure, and it's it's based on AI, right? But Adobe came up with a new one called uh, the adaptive color, which is this one from a pop-up menu here. So it's not Adobe color, it's adaptive color. And you may have tried it, and you may have thought it's not as good as auto. Let's try it. Well, it did okay on this photo, but here's what I want you to do. Number one, try both. Sometimes adaptive color looks better. Sometimes auto looks better. And these are just starting places anyway, but they're better starting places than just nothing, right? So it kind of gives you like you're starting on first base. However, there are two advantages to the adaptive color that you may not be aware of that I think are kind of interesting. First off, I want to show you what, let me just reset this what auto does, right? I'm gonna click auto. What auto does is look, it moves all your sliders. So basically it looks at the photo and analyzes it and it doesn't move all the sliders. It doesn't move the white balance sliders, but it does move the exposure, contrast, highlights, whatever it needs down here, it does that. So that's your starting place. And then if you wanna add more shadows, well, it's, well, the shadows are quite a ways up. I don't have that much more, I can move it. Let's reset it. Now, there are two big advantages to the other one, to adaptive color. So let's go choose adaptive color. Ready? Watch the sliders. They don't move at all. So it does an AI look at your image and gives you a starting place, but it doesn't move the sliders. Now you have full use of all the sliders. So if you wanted to add more shadows and open them up more or add more contrast or you know whites, whatever you want, it's all there. That's number one, which is I think really good. But this is the thing a lot of people overlook right here. There is an amount slider for adaptive color. So it doesn't just go, here you go. It gives you a starting place, but you can also choose less or more of it. So there's no adaptive color. There's some adaptive color. There's a bunch of adaptive color. So you have this extra thing. So what you get with adaptive color is possibly three advantages. Number one, it might look better than auto. Number two, it doesn't move your slider, so all your sliders are still at zero and you have full use of everything. And number three, you have an amount slider that gives you control over it, so it's better than just auto. It's better than auto in many, many ways. And this is relatively new in Lightroom. It's also in Camera Raw, but uh, that's the adaptive color. There's also an adaptive black and white. So there's this one, and there's adaptive black and white as well, which is just better than just clicking on black and white, which is kind of lame. All right, and there you have today's Lightroom tip.